Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to another Gold Star video, and I think it's about time we did another one with commentary. I've been uploading a lot of my runs recently, just the runs themselves, however I really enjoyed doing the commentary videos, so I think we should do one again. Um, so this time it's gonna be very, very different. Um, for two main reasons. Number one, I currently set 199 gold stars, meaning that the next one will be my 200th, and that's going to be a bit of a milestone gold star. And the second reason being, we're doing RBC. <laughs> I don't know why, but I've all of a sudden had a random motivation to play this track, so I really hope I can just see that through and get this one beaten. I don't think anyone is going to see this one coming. I haven't told anyone that I'm going to do RBC for my 200th. People have speculated a little bit. Um, but yeah. <laughs> this is one that I have put off for a while, thinking that I'm, I was never ever going to be it. Um, who knows? I might not have ever beat it, but we may as well give it a try, and there's no better time than now, so. The time to beat is a 234.5 by Russo X. I think I should just get straight into it. So, let's go. Alrighty, attempt number one out of however many. Um, I've done a little bit of research for Staff Ghost. I watched Lucas's video on beating it. I watched Enmead's tutorial on the track. Um, so I know a little bit. However, I personally have like no experience teaching this course whatsoever. Obviously, I've played it online a few times. Um, I thought I had the pumper. I played it online a few times. Um, I beat the beginner staff course on it and stuff like that, but aside from that, I have very little experience on this track in terms of actually trying to drive fast. Um, so, there's going to be a lot to learn. I am aware that the Superman and the Shroom Cut are very annoying on this track. However, I feel like for me, the main issue is just going to be driving. Because, as you can see, I'm already behind the ghost here. This track is all just 90 degree turns. Which is not good for me, because that requires alignments. It requires good alignments into the turns. Good alignments on the straights. Um, there's also cycles on this track, so I've got to be fast enough to beat cycles. Um, so I can see this one being very difficult all around for me, at least. That's a good alignment. As is that. See, this is a bad alignment though. Very, very wide and just hit the thorn. <laughs> yeah, not great, not great. Dude, this bridge is already causing me a lot of problems. Bro, what is this alignment? And that's one's there as well. So we've not even made it past this turn yet. <laughs> Brilliant. We've not even made it to the hardest part of the track yet. Oh, dude. Try Superman. That was a good shroom. That was actually a good shroom. Shame that the run's already dead, but... That's a bad alignment into Spiral. Let's just try the Spiral as well. That's a bad alignment. Or the rail, I guess. Oh! <laughs> that's, that's not how you do that. <laughs> the rail cut is actually one of my worst cuts uh, in the regular game, despite its simplicity. I am, for some reason, just really bad at it. Me and rails just don't get along, you know. I have a volcanic valley. That entire track is just rails. What is this alignment? I hate it so much already. And then I'm hard drifting there. Um, I need to be more central. Which means I need to be faster. I can't have these lackluster beginnings, because I'm just not going to be able to make that turn efficiently. And that is a thing as well. Yeah, so with the Superman, I've got to be like... I've got to be towards the left, pretty much. I can't... I can't be towards the middle, because 
Bowser bike just can't make this room when it's in the middle. Hmm, not great. Not a terrible shroom though. Right behind him. It's not a good rail here. Alright, whatever. Oh my god, dude, I've not completed a lap yet. <laughs> I can't complete a lap. That was a really good shroom, oh my. He's in the line as well. Right, okay, cool. And then... <laughs> it's just so small. There's no space to maneuver on that rail. Is that a lap? Do we got a lap done? Point one down. Oh my goodness. That was a really nice approach as well. Finally a lap. So that line was the same on lap two, I guess. Go around this one. And that's that, okay. Finally, after 50 minutes, I got a single lap completely. And I was only point one down. Okay. That's a really big confidence boost. Ugh, that makes me- that's make- no, I can't talk. That makes me think I can actually do this. Whoops. It's fine, I can practice Superman. <laughs> Imagine if you can go inside of this. Like, I don't know if- I mean, it's probably been tested before, uh, almost 100%, but I feel like it could be very viable in the future that we see that in world record runs. Really wide spiral. And then... bad. Okay, we're alive though. Down bot point three. Whoa, those bounces on the bridge. Yeah, alright, well, I mean, it was not a lap completed. It wasn't quite as good. Um, the, the whole start of it really was. The, the start of it was amazing. Um, but then it all kind of got a shroom cut. Very nice. Down point zero. Okay. That wasn't great. No, was that? Nor is that. Mm, okay. <sighs> that was really, really good, though. <laughs> it all kind of came crashing down at the Shroom uh, lap 2. But the fact I managed to keep going as well on lap 2, and I had very little nerves. That was good. That was really, really good. Alright, I am feeling really confident I can beat this. I feel like I could beat it just any run now, just randomly, but I feel like it's going to take a little bit longer first. But, um, this is so doable. This is so, so doable. What was that? Yeah, okay, whatever. Oh 
Oh my goodness, insane shroom. Really wide spiral. Fine. Oh. Oh, why did I try taking that so tight? <sighs> okay, I kind of forgot that those thumps were there on lap three. I knew I needed to. Well, I should have taken that tight. I held the MT a little bit longer. Uh, I don't really know why I tried taking that turn so tight. It would have been really close. There was a chance we could have beaten it there. Oh my goodness! Wow. Okay. Oh, <sighs> that was really good. Those those two shroom cuts were fantastic. All right, just gotta do something like that again, and uh, we'll get it eventually. Wow, having paces like that this this early into into the TT sessions are uh, really good. No, I mm, I don't even know how that happened. I don't know how you can control how far you turn in there. If you even tap a little bit, like you just go flying. I wasn't even holding to walk right there. No! Oh, that was... I think if I release... I think if I actually managed to get my wheelie out there, that would have been a really good line, but... It's a tiny bit too tight. Nice! Never mind them. Guess not. What?! How?! How?! I don't get it! I did the spin drift and everything! That was, like, perfect! I don't get how- how do you do this rail? Okay, wow. I don't know how I managed to make that, but sure. No! Oh, the alignment killed me. Mm, that was stupid wall! Oh my goodness. How close was that? I thought I, I thought that was going to be an absolutely incredible Superman, but... Mm, no, not quite. Stupid wall is just there. Of course! It always just dies there, doesn't it? I either fail to get onto the rail, or I fail the rail at the end. Or I have to do the backup strat and then I fail that. There's always something that goes wrong. Always something with the rail. Hmm. Wow, okay. Why is that bridge? No, 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 spiral was so wide, I didn't get any chain drifts, so close, it was so close, I thought that was it, I really thought that was it, ugh.
Okay, let's calm down a little bit. I don't know how well I would have handled doing the rail under them. I should speak there. There's a very good chance I would have failed there. However, oh, just gotta take it, move on. That just goes to show we can get it very, very soon. That was really bad. No, that hitbox is so big. Gotta be so much further to the left there. Alright, that's two times in about... Mm, about 20 minutes though that we got to that point, so that's good. Definitely getting there. Definitely, definitely getting there. And that wasn't great. That was a really bad lap through and we were still on pace to beat it, so... This is so doable. This is so doable. No, oh, we almost solved it. I had to go so risky with that rail. So close. So, so close. Nope. Bridge games a lot of time. After a very lackluster lap one. Yeah. Yeah, and that slip drift there is so annoying. Nose diving to try and find him happening, but it appears to work very well. Just awful. Okay, point one down. Good bridge, good bridge. Can't do the rail. Things I know what I did wrong, but aligning for that, I wouldn't have to check the thing. Oh, the alignment at the end is so difficult. It's so difficult. I think I have some explaining to do. So, 
My favorite way to time trial is by doing so in call. It takes the stress off the TT a little bit, it allows you to focus on something else while you're TTing, and then you allow yourself to focus up when you start getting a good run, but it just makes the entire experience a lot more pleasant, a lot easier, and just a lot less stressful. Now, when it comes to recording these commentary videos, of course, I'm not able to TT in call because I've got to be here doing commentary for it. Um, and when it comes to a staff coast that is as difficult as this, that gets really intense, really stressful, really grueling, and quite unenjoyable. So I tried a lot to strictly stay time trialing this this track um, for commentary. I got 11 hours in, and it just got... I was so tired of this track. I just wanted to beat the ghost. I wanted it to be over. Um, so I did some attempts in call last night. And I ended up beating it. So, I apologize that I wasn't able to catch the reaction on camera, um, however, I think the important thing is that I did end up beating this, um, and I was um, keeping track of the time, do not worry, I make sure I had the timer going, and this is how long it took me to beat, 13 hours, 21 minutes, 46 seconds, 0.82, give or take, <sighs> but the main thing is, I beat it, and I don't have to play this track ever again. Now you may have noticed that I have not actually um, shown my time yet. The reason for this is because I ended up beating this ghost by a monumental 4 milliseconds. <laughs> I was so surprised when I beat this, it was absolutely insane. We're gonna watch the replay, do not worry. And this is actually gonna give me a much better chance to uh, go over everything in this track and tell you what I thought about it. Uh, I haven't watched this replay. I remember nothing about this run at all. I'm gonna have a timer again. Um, so it's gonna be fun to go back and rewatch, but all I remember is crossing the finish line, it's saying you win, and just being super stoked. So let's give this a rewatch, and um, I'll run you through the track. Alright, so we started off first with the bridge. What I found about this bridge is the longer you delayed your wheelie, um, the more consistent the bridge stick was. So I delayed my wheel for quite a long there, uh, quite a while there, and I got a decent stick. It wasn't great though. A bit of off road there. Um, all this is pretty standard, all this driving Kia. It's pretty easy to pick up. Uh, the alignments are a little bit awkward. You can see here, I probably turn a little bit. Yeah, just make sure I make it under the swamp. Um, and this is also pretty fine. The Superman alignment on lap one is definitely the easiest because you can go inside the swamp. Let's see how good this was. That was a, that was a decent Superman. Uh, the Superman is- that was a really nice shroom, wow. The Superman is, um, pretty weird, um, because you've got to start your drift at a pretty certain time from what I found, and you want to kind of start soft drifting and then go into a hard drift. Uh, but if you start your drift too late, then your MT won't charge, and if you start it too early, then you might either hit the wall or get random air on the thing, and then it's just really weird. That rail? Super annoying. That rail is by far the worst part of this track for me. That was a nice bridge stick, though. Yeah, I had so many- f like, past the 8 hour mark or so, every single fail that happened was- was on that rail. Uh, every- every major fail, that is anyway. <laughs> um, all pretty standard here, I gotta go outside this swamp. It's a couple times I forgot to go outside of it and ended up pulling the run right there and then. The bunch of Superman again. That wasn't great, and I wasn't aligned very well with the Shroom Cut, but I just kinda delayed my Shroom. Yeah, and it ended up working out. There was a spiral, I didn't, didn't talk about the spiral. Um, so the spiral is also pretty annoying, especially under pressure, because it's very easy to just hit that wall. And you have to get a chain drift there. You, it's essential that you get a chain drift, otherwise you just go so far wide. And then there's also the alignment out of the spiral, which I haven't talked about. So on Bowser Bike, of course, you get one MT, um, and then you get another one and release your wheelie to align for the next rail. That is really difficult to do, and I had a lot of trouble with it. And a lot of the time I was just doing the backup rail, which doesn't lose too much time, but still not ideal. Uh, that alignment there on lap 3 is weird. Uh, so is this one, you've got to hold your MT for quite a while. Yeah, but you gain a lot of time on the ghost there because he misaligns. That was a quality Superman. I was aligned a little bit too close to the middle for my liking, but it still worked out. The shroom wasn't terrible. We're ahead here. Um, and then the hardest part of the run, by far the hardest part of the run happens right here. You have to go to the left of this fire pillar and then make it onto the rail. And under all the pressure, I remember this rail just being super sketchy. I got a bounce. 
and just barely be out of the ghost. Oh my goodness. Four milliseconds. When I saw you win on the screen, I was so happy you would not believe. But yeah, I did it. I beat RBC. It took 13 hours, but at, at least I did it. Let's give a couple of shout outs to people in the Discord for helping me continue on with this one. It was a real challenge and I was getting really demotivated from it. Um, probably the least fun I've had playing this game in quite some time. <laughs> um, but we got it done. Uh, and a special shout out to Clown or Onyx as well for helping me out uh, with this ghost. He was the only person who I told which track I was doing because he's pretty good at this track and I just need some advice. Um, so yeah, I'll leave a link to his Twitch in the description as a bit of a thank you. Um, that is all for now. Um, I don't know when the next one will be. Um, obviously these commentary videos are very taxing, like I said, but whenever the next one will be, I will see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.